Slow Brain. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls who loved valentines. The smallest one was Madeline. Oh, look! A heart! <gasps> Come, girls. It is time to pick our secret sweethearts for Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> Everyone gives something special to whomever they choose. <laughs> Do not worry, Genevieve. We did not forget you. <laughs> All right, little girls. Now you may look at whom you have picked. I, oh, I wonder who I got. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Madeline chose her favorite canine. Genevieve picked Madeline. Madeline went to the Rue Avignon. Ooh, perhaps this, or, or maybe that. Or... <gasps> Bones! Where she bought Genevieve a beautiful bone. Genevieve searched through the house and the garden to boot, but came up with nothing in her pursuit. But then she found Popo. It was love at first sight, and she felt her heart beating fast with delight. <gasps> you again! that dog has. <laughs> he gets my best steak bones every time. They listened to a meadow lark as they picnicked in the park. They went on a romantic tour. <laughs> from Notre Dame. To the butcher store. <laughs> Paris was theirs to romance and explore. <laughs> As Genevieve dreamed that they would wed, the gift for Madeline left her head. Happy Valentine's Day, mes enfants. It is gift exchange time. <laughs> oh, I can't wait! <laughs> this is for Sylvie, my secret Valentine. <gasps> Sugar cookies, my favorite. Merci beaucoup, Miss Clavel. The girls took part in the exchange. But Madeline noticed something strange. Do you really like it? Oh. <laughs> Where could Genevieve be? Look what Chloe gave me. Isn't it beautiful? Who was your secret Valentine, Madeline? Genevieve, I guess. But she is not here. Oh, oh no, oh, Madeline. You must be very angry at her. Oh, no. She would never miss Valentine's Day on purpose. Something must have happened. Genevieve has stayed out before. Do not worry, she will come home. Hmm. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love Genevieve! <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourselves, Miss. 
mes enfants. If she is not back by morning, we will go and look for her, d'accord? Madeline worried throughout the night. Certain something was not right. Jenna! Oh. Where, Jenna? Is Where is she? she? Oh, we must oh, find her. began Jenna. their search in the morning light. Have you seen a small brown dog? A woman recalled a ferocious pair who gave her pigeons quite a scare. Terrible dogs! My poor birdies are still trembling! Oh! That could not have been Genevieve! A brown dog? All over, people said they saw two dogs in love, linked paw to paw. Girls heard of a dog who huh? went for a tour with her newfound paramour. No! It made them shake their heads some more. Have you seen our dog? Not Genevieve. These people must all be speaking about a different dog. Here is the picture. It is Genevieve! <gasps> she left us for him? So that is where she was on Valentine's Day. Silly me. I thought she was in trouble. Oh, oh this is not like Genevieve. That is not like Genevieve. Ah, oh, Madeline, Genevieve did not mean to miss Valentine's Day. She will be back. Genevieve? I do not know a Genevieve. Oh, dear. Oh, Madeline. Madeline at first was unforgiving, but as she slept, she began reliving. As the night passed, she was not still mad. <sighs> By morning, she was really sad. Attendez! Wait, s'il vous plaît! And then, in a moment, <laughs> just in time to retrieve, <gasps> wagging her tail came her dear. could Genevieve give in return? She remembered a token of her recent sojourn. Huh? For me? <gasps> Perfume! Genevieve, it is beautiful! Merci! <laughs> Do 
Lord Genevieve. We were terribly worried about you. But I am very glad to see you. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Ooh la la! You need a bath. The girls washed her three times with shampoo, then served her a feast of doggy stew. And then a long snooze, overdue. Clavel, may I present Madame Toilette, a distinguished hygiene expert who has generously offered to inspect the old house. What? For germs! As I suspected, this filthy creature is infecting your old household! Excuse me, mademoiselle. Genevieve is a very <gasps> clean oh, dog. Oh. If you will just... <gasps> Where did you get this? It is my Valentine's gift from Genevieve. I want her arrested immediately. She is a thief. There oh, must Genevieve. be a mistake. Oh, Genevieve oh, has Genevieve. never Genevieve. been accused Genevieve. of such a thing. Uh, oui, madame Toilette. Uh, but please explain. This priceless necklace was stolen from my mansion two months ago, along with all my treasured things. Genevieve must have found it somewhere. We, oui, that is right. <laughs> Tell us how, Genevieve. <laughs> you got it from him? <laughs> There you have it! Call the gendarme, Lord Cuckoo Face! They must both be arrested! Oh. This cannot oh. be oh. my enemy! But, Lord Cuckoo Face, Genevieve had no idea the necklace was stolen! How can she be guilty? Madeline does have a point! Very, very well! Uh, take the poodle away! He is the thief! Are you sure you, Madame Toilette? We will get to the bottom of this. Indeed, we will. But poor Genevieve wanted no food and no drink. She just thought of Popo, their paws in a link. Oh, no. okay. Genevieve would not sleep all play. She has not eaten for days. She misses her poodle friend. She misses him? But we are the ones who love her. Why does she not love us anymore? Hmph! If she no longer loves us, maybe we will no longer love her. That is not how love works, mes enfants. What do you mean? It is really quite simple. How much can you love more than the stars? How far can you love all the way to Mars? And love can grow taller than a 
to Lord Cuckoo Face and Madame Toilette. Come, little girls, there is much to do. <coughs> Miss Clavel called Lord Cuckoo Face. Then, helter-skelter, they gathered at the animal shelter. <coughs> Seeing Popo was a great relief. Now he had to prove he wasn't a thief. We must not lose him! We must not lose him! Oh dear! He led them deep into a park where he dug till almost dark. Gems! Was Popo digging just for naught? Oh, Madame Toilette oh. was quite oh. distraught. You have wasted quite ah. enough of my time, Lord Cuckoo Face. I want the police notified ah. immediately. But then Popo found the hidden spot. <gasps> my candelabra! Oh my goodness! How I've missed it! <gasps> My jewels! My silver! They are all here! Oh, how did you do it, you wondrous poodle? What? Is it a virus? No, Madame Toilette. I believe he is saying he used his nose. You smelled that perfume on the necklace, yes, Popo? Oh, what an extraordinary nose! <laughs> And soon, all throughout Paris, Popo was a celebrity. Regards, sir. Look, my snake bone retriever is in the paper. Oh, that's a jealousy. I am so jealous. Now, where will our famous poodle choose to make his next home? He cannot live with us, mes chéris. Lord Cuckoo Face would not allow it. The love-struck doggies were dejected. But then something happened, unexpected. He may live at my house, that is, if he wants to. <laughs> but you must work for your living. But how? What do you mean? Really? I train search and rescue dogs to find people buried in avalanches. Would you like to try it? <laughs> he should do well with this nose of his. <laughs> Their hearts were filled with gratitude. But then, there was a change of mood. What 
is wrong, Genevieve? She thought about the valentine she had never given Madeline. So, with some friends in one straight line, they serenaded, sounding fine. When Madeline <laughs> begged for more, they barked and howled for an encore. C'est magnifique! It was a Valentine gift she'd always adore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Be tough, then you should get to know me. 